The chapter emphasizes the importance of wisdom and understanding in overcoming adversity. It warns against envying the wicked and their company as their hearts plot violence and their lips talk about making trouble. Wisdom is too high for fools and those who plot evil will be known as schemers. In times of trouble, wisdom is like honey, providing future hope and preventing calamities. The chapter also advises against lurking near the righteous house or plundering their dwellings as the righteous rise again after falling seven times. Gloating when enemies fall and not letting your heart rejoice can lead to the Lord's disapproval and wrath. The chapter also warns against worrying about evildoers or envying them as they have no future hope and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. It advises fearing the Lord and the King and not joining with rebellious officials as they can send sudden destruction and calamities. The chapter also warns against showing partiality in judging as it will be cursed by peoples and denounced by nations. Instead, those who convict the guilty will receive rich blessings. An honest answer is like a kiss on the lips. The chapter also advises against testifying against neighbors without cause and not saying, I'll do to them as they have done to me, I'll pay them back for what they did. The text concludes with a lesson about a little sleep, slumber and folding of the hands to rest as poverty and scarcity can come on one like a thief and an armed man.